Giant Chinese paddlefish declared extinct after surviving 150 million years. Here's a summary of the article. Beijing, scientists say a giant fish species that managed to survive at least 150 million years has been completely wiped out by human activity. Research published in the Science of the Total Environment report this week says the giant Chinese paddlefish, also known as the Chinese swordfish, is officially extinct. The monster fish, one of the largest freshwater species in the world with lengths up to 23 feet, was once common in China's Yangtze River. According to the researchers, no giant paddlefish have been sighted in the Yangtze since 2003, and there are none in captivity. The main causes of the ancient species' demise have been listed as overfishing and the construction of a major dam in 1981 that split the Yangtze, and the Chinese paddlefish population along with it, in two. The 3,900-mile Yangtze River ecosystem has seen half of the 175 species unique to its waters go extinct, according to Chinese media. Two other species native to the river have also been declared functionally extinct, the Reeves Shad and the Yangtze Dolphin. This post received a score of 42,727, with an upvote ratio of 94%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. I remember the river monsters guy, dot who is cool as f, dot who said giant fish are a sign of a healthy river. Makes sense. Giant fish eat smaller fish, who eat even smaller fish, etc. If giant fish are healthy and in good numbers, that indicates a large population of smaller fish for them to eat and thrive on, which indicates a healthy food chain. The other important thing is consolidation of toxicity. If a small fish eats some plants that have mercury or other toxic chemicals, it tends to be a small amount. That amount grows every time it goes up the food chain and disproportionately affects larger predators. Yeah, it's called biomagnification, and it kills a lot of seabirds. Also why other predator fish like tuna have high mercury concentrations than smaller fish. How come I don't hear about these alien-like fish until they're extinct? Well there aren't news headlines when things are going well for a species. Breaking news. Squirrels are doing alright. Breaking news. Mosquitoes still suck. Thanks dad, now here's mother with the weather. Wear layers, it might be chilly and I don't want you catching a cold. And be careful, it's really icy out and you know how the porch steps get when it's icy. That's sad but China just implemented a 10-year ban on fishing in large parts of that river. Fishing is a small factor compared to dams, pollution, and loss of pristine river habitats in the river. Certainly something to tackle, but the Yangtze dolphin went extinct exclusively because of these factors. Per my limited research the construction of a dam split the paddlefish population in two in the early 1980s, and the species was basically done for by 1993. Large fish are usually long-lived, so if you cut off the breeding grounds it takes a while for the species to actually become extinct. As you said, earlier dams were a major issue, but the final nail in the coffin was the Three Gorges Dam, which was finished in the mid-2000s. Everyone should be riled up and angry, but don't forget this didn't happen out of the blue. There hasn't been one seen alive since 2003, and has been considered functionally extinct since 1995. They just officially declared it recently, and won't be IUCN updated until July 2020. I look forward to reading about it in the outrage in July. Jesus. This planet is the only place in the no universe to host life. Every species gone is a loss for the whole universe. You'd think people would do better to protect the extremely limited and precious resource that life is. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.